and welcome to Surprise Toy Box. It's been a really long time since I made a video, but that doesn't mean I stopped uh, accumulating stuff. So let me show you some of the things I picked up. Alright, so a continuation from the last video, my um, Super Smash Bros. 3DS game arrived. This is the one I ordered from Amazon. Um, they price match Best Buy when there was a sale. I think this was $30. I haven't opened it yet. Um, next I got this another 3DS game, Fantasy Life. It's sort of like a sort of like the Sims or slash like farming game um, where you get um, a role that you choose to become like a farmer or a hunter or something like that. Um, I actually traded this. Uh, I use an app called Buns where you can trade stuff. I traded um, one of my Calvin and Hobbes comics for this. I played a little bit. Um, I made another trade, a cookbook for these three PS3 games. So I don't have any of the, the newer consoles. The PS3 is like my, my newest one. So I figured I'd collect some games for it because I never bought that many games. Uh, so this is the Tomb Raider Trilogy. It has three games. Game of Thrones and Grand Theft Auto 4. I uh, haven't played these yet either. Alright, what else? Uh, ordered some stuff on Amazon. These are just headphones. I bought some other stuff. I'll show you in the other room. Uh, I did pick up um, Exploding Kittens. This is a card game um, that was from Kickstarter. This was the original packaging where the box actually meows. Um, this is actually missing the original instruction sheet, but there's actually two decks in here. The, the original deck that says actually first edition in the corner here. And then it, there's the not safe for work deck, which is um, this set of instructions. So I got that at Valley Village. I, I haven't played it, but I heard it was really fun. And my sister has this game. Next, I picked up a pack of Nintendo Amiibos from Valley Village. Uh, I think this was $3.99 for the two, which is pretty good because I think these go for $20 or $25 new. So this is um, Mario in the, the wedding dress, wedding outfits, Bowser. And I think this came in a three pack and there was actually Princess Peach in like the wedding outfits as well. Um, oh, let me just show off my Turkey Trot Meadow for running 10 kilometers uh, last Monday on Thanksgiving. This is a really nice meadow this year. Also got um, this pack of random bricks. It's actually a Jurassic World build. So. Unfortunately, the instructions are photocopied, but usually Toys R Us has uh, like small Lego builds on the weekends, and I think it's usually for kids, but they started this thing uh, for this build where you can actually pre-register up to 50 people um, on uh, to pick up or go build on Friday. And all you need to do is have a R rewards card and you just register your card number and then you go in the store, tell them your name, show them your card and they just give you this little packet so you don't have to like stand there to build it. So I will build this in a bit. So like it looks like this and it's like just the, the tan and gray color. So some other things I picked up were um, Lego. I haven't been buying new Lego sets in a while but Toys R Us had a 20% off sale plus another 15% off certain items and of course Amazon price matched that so that becomes 32% off which was an okay deal. So I picked up uh, Micro Fighters. This is Series 5. This is a remake of the original Millennium Falcon which I also have. Um, that one has Han Solo on it but um, I can't I don't know I don't I can't bring myself to open that one because it's worth a lot so I'm gonna open this and probably display at my desk this was like eight something I think uh, I did grab this medium set which I've been talking I think I probably mentioned it this is um Octu Island training so you get Luke Ray and a pork and here is the back Uh, this is the last one I got. This is the First Order ATST, and a lot of people hate this set because um, the ATST is actually missing the head part. 
so it's like an incomplete vehicle but I got this because I wanted the updated Captain Phasma figure and also the BB-8 it also comes with Finn and Rose so you can just recreate the scene in the movie this is actually retails for $50 I think new um, which I wouldn't pay for especially since you don't get a complete vehicle but at 32% off I thought why not so here is a picture of the back. The box on this is actually scratched up and there's actually like stains here. So I might see if I can return it or not return it, but exchange it for a new one. Lastly, I picked up another lot of bulk Lego from Value Village. They actually only priced this at $5.99, I think, or $7.99. Um, and I had, of course, I had the $2 off coupon. So that was okay because there's a lot of half-built sets in here. There's some like trash pieces, which of course I added to this bag. So little like this purple board, this house thingy, and this one. I think it's like Mega Block or something. But mostly it's Lego. I haven't really sorted through it yet. But there's this like half built plane. Um, I think this is one of uh, Darth Maul's ship or something like that. Let me know if. You can you recognize this? It's definitely Star Wars. Here's the other side. Um, then there's like the bottom of a plane, I think. Some I know there's um uh, one of those um what's it called? The Star Wars the like cloth fighters. I I don't know the names of it. So there's like these pieces here. I think this is Star Wars as well. So there's a lot of like the wall pieces, the fair cargo ship or boat or something. So like a decent amount of, of good pieces. Um, nothing complete, unfortunately. But I figured I can probably piece something together with this, or just like flip it or something. Not bad. Usually, Valley Village charges like fifteen to twenty to twenty-five dollars for a big bag like this. So someone must have been sleeping on the job when they priced it. So these are my latest pickups from the last few weeks. Let me know what you thought. What was your favorite item? Remember to leave a comment, give a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!